Hi friends, welcome to my channel Totus Geek. Today we're gonna fix an error. There are currently no power options available when you click on the start menu. The first method we're going to do is to restore your power options. So simultaneously press Windows and R key to open the run command. Type here CMD and now again simultaneously press Ctrl Shift and Enter key to open command prompt as an administrator. Now here in CMD type a command power CFG space slash restore default schemes and hit the enter button. Now the command is processed. Go ahead and close the command prompt and restart your system and check if the start menu options are available or not. If these options are still unavailable, again run CMD as an administrator mode and this time type the following command and now hit the enter button. I will provide this command in the description below so that you can copy and paste directly over here. Now the task has completed. Now go ahead type exit and close the command prompt. Now restart your system and check if the problem is resolved or not. If it is still persist, we are going to proceed to the second step. So in second step, we are going to use a system file checker so that it can fix your corrupted system files. So simultaneously press Windows and R key and again type CMD over here. Now again press Control Shift and Enter button to run CMD as an admin mode. Now here in CMD, you need to type here two commands one by one. First of all is SFC space slash scan now and then hit the enter button. The second command is DISM space slash online space slash cleanup image space slash restore health and then hit the enter button. Both commands will take up to 10 minutes each. So that's why I have performed only the single command. But at your end, make sure you command, make sure you perform each command one by one. Now we will let these commands work in the background for you. And in the meantime, we are going to proceed to the next step. If this step doesn't work out, make sure you restart your system after each command. Now in third step, again simultaneously press Windows and R key to open the run command. This type in run command type secpol.msc and hit the enter button. Now in local security policies, choose local policy. Expand it and double click on user right assignment. Now in this right pane, find the option shut down the system. Double click to open it. Now here choose the option second backup operations and click on add user or group. Here click on the advanced option first and now click on find now. Now here in the ser below search result find your username. For example my username is Lotus Geek. I will go ahead and check this username and hit the ok button. Again hit the ok button. Now hit apply and OK. And now close the local security policy and restart your system and check if the problem is still persist or not. If the problem is still persist, we are going to proceed to the final. In fourth step, simultaneously press again Windows and R key to open the run command and this time type here gpedit.msc and hit the enter button. Now here under user configuration, choose the option administrative template. Expand it and here choose the option start menu and taskbar. Now in this right pane find the option name as remove and prevent access to shutdown. This one is the option remove and pre prevent access to the shutdown restart sleep and hibernate. Double click to open it. Now make sure this option is either not configured or it is disabled. Please make sure this thing. 
again hit apply and okay button now go ahead and restart your system these are the four ways one of the ways will actually sort out your issue if still the problem persist kindly comment below so that i can provide you more ways for the resolution that's it about it friends if you like this tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends also thank you friends thank you for watching